Well, it seems I've become the resident smart glasses reviewer here on Pocket Now, but I'm fine with that because the category just keeps on growing. And now the latest, on my face right now, is from a company that might be uniquely equipped to provide their own spin on this kind of tech lifestyle product. So. Let's put it on. This is Pocket Now, and I'm Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? These glasses on my face are from Razer and are the Anzu Smart Audio Glasses. The most recognizable of the smart glasses category might be sunglasses, but Razer decided to target the everyday work from home user who might do some gaming on the side. The Razer Anzu, in a couple of different shapes that also come in a couple of different sizes, can have its lenses replaced with shaded glass, but originally come with blue light blockers for more comfortable screen time. Of course, in my case, I had my pair of rectangular Anzu glasses sent to a service called Lensable, which Razer is partnering with, to get prescription lenses put in, complete with similar coatings that that will reduce the glare and add blue light filtering. It did take a while for my glasses to get done, but I'm happy that I got it done because these have become my go-to everyday glasses. And that's because Razer has made the right choices in making these an accessible and easy to wear pair of frames. Compared to the other smart glasses that might have thick frames to match the thick temples, the Razer Anzu keep its frames a little thinner, making them blend in much better with general looks. Like, a straight-on look at me right now wouldn't really give away the tech that's hiding in the arms until I look more to the side. The weight of the glasses is less than basically any other pair that I've used thus far, and on the very ends of the arms, there are rubber pieces that give the glasses a little bit of grip. I did add a couple of pads on the nose pieces uh, for further security, but even without these, the glasses definitely don't slip down as easily as others I've worn. And the last reason why these glasses are easy to wear continuously is because the battery life is actually kind of impressive. Now, five hours is what Razer claims in these, which sounds decent as far as wireless audio products are concerned, but in terms of glasses, audio glasses, that's actually pretty good. Now, the battery does split duty between the two arms as they work a lot like truly wireless earbuds, but that also means that they have to be charged separately. Now, I know it might be a little bit weird for you to charge your glasses in every night, but plugging them in before bed is easy enough to get used to. It it's just that the Y cable is an added little layer on top of all of that now. So as far as making sure the tech doesn't lessen the comfort level, Razer has put many of the right considerations in place. The same goes for the control experience, which is done via touch-sensitive areas on the temples. There's this small bump that can be felt right here on the front, and that's where deliberate presses and holds can be performed. You can play pause, skip tracks, and you can hold on it to activate your voice assistance of choice. That's about as much control and extra features as you would normally get in typical truly wireless earbuds, so that's kind of okay because it keeps things from getting too complicated here. But there is a point where simple turns into somewhat limited. You can already see this happening in the Anzu app, where you can customize the buttons, and then you get a few options for sound EQ, all of which don't really change the sound experience much at all. And after all of the praise that you just heard me give Razer for their specific design choices, I will admit that the design in general might not entice many of you who want their unique glasses to look unique too. I mean, it's all black everything, no matter what version of the glasses you get, and even then, it's this glossy plastic. That said, I don't have really any doubts about the build quality of the Razer Anzu. In fact, these glasses are one of the few to have an IPX4 rating so that they will work just fine even under sweaty conditions in the gym. But like other smart glasses, if you don't like the look, it just doesn't matter what they can do because they won't make it onto your face in the first place. And that's kind of a shame because audio glasses are honestly pretty damn fun and convenient. It's important to remember that sound quality will never be as good as something that you put over or in your ears, but then again, I don't think any of these glasses are trying to replicate that. The drivers blur out of the speakers which are pointed downward to your ears, making personal audio find a kind of middle ground between the loudspeaker on your phone and the earbud that is digging into your ear. The sound is loud enough and decent enough to work for specific genres of content. I found them best with spoken word content like podcasts and audiobooks, so whenever I'm out and about and I want to have some audio in the background, it's always at the ready. To that end, video and voice calls are great on the Anzu because if someone calls, it's just a matter of picking up and talking naturally. The audio coming to me is good for conversations, and the microphones in the temples do a good job of capturing my voice for whoever is on the other line. And in all of these scenarios, you can keep your environmental awareness because this is about as open as a pair of open headphones can get. Indeed, the best way of looking at, or rather listening to, the Razer Anzu is to compare it to your smartphone speaker. You won't get the booming bass because the drivers aren't in your ears, but it will be loud enough for you to enjoy the usual content you might have coming out of your phone's speakers anyway. That's why the focus on gaming makes a lot of sense, because if you're like me, and you play Wild Rift or other mobile games often without headphones, you're just playing it like this, uh, now that audio doesn't have to bother anybody else, and it's more or less just for me. 
Think of all the content you might generally consume in this very method, and the Razer Anzu will just make that experience more personal and honestly easier to access because the glasses are already on your head anyway, ready to play the audio. Now, admittedly, the smartphone speaker analogy has its drawbacks too. You see, Razer isn't anywhere near, let's say, Bose in terms of creating that bubble of sound that makes the Bose frames a compelling example of this category. And thus, the Razer Anzu have a sound leakage problem that can make it really obvious to anyone even somewhat near you that you're listening to something if you have it at full volume. Okay, I'm going to do an example right now. There's a mic attached to my camera right now, pointed right at me. I'm going to play the pocket now daily and turn up the volume, see if you can hear it. You saw a clip of me using the glasses in the gym earlier on, and honestly, I'm okay with that scenario because the already loud environment drowns out the leakage just enough that no one around me has noticed I'm listening to the Bill Burr podcast while lifting. But then again, those loud environments will cut into your enjoyment of the audio, which is why I say I stick to podcasts and audiobooks and other spoken word content. Again, you should not expect these glasses to be great for massive enjoyment of things like music. Instead, it's for those incidental moments when you do want to have a little bit of audio in the background when you're in a queue or just walking around somewhere outside or in a grocery. But it is something to consider if it matters to you that your sound intrudes on other people's hearing space. It's an experience that is better than a smartphone but doesn't eliminate all of the little quirks about it completely. As I, with slight sight impairment, have had to go through the thought process often of picking a new pair of eyeglasses, I've come to the conclusion after a few pairs of smart glasses that the tech and the fashion might not ever really mix together, but they should be considered alongside one another. The Razer Anzu already costs $199 on their own, which already seems a bit steep for anyone that doesn't even need blue light filtering and already has a pair of truly wireless earbuds. But then getting prescription lenses put in them can cost another $100. Put together, that's the price of a high-end premium pair of fashion glasses. Now we could get to a point where putting audio tech in the temples of, say, Ray-Bans doesn't shoot the price up too much, but for now the give and take of tech and materials is kind of obvious. It's something you see in gadgets often. You pick the tech or you pick the looks. And unless you think the Razer Anzu already fit your style, I can understand why many of you wonder why tech in this new category of wearable even exists. Well, personally speaking, I find it fun, convenient, and for the first time now, it's pretty damn easy to just keep on. But I will admit it is still so niche that I might be the only person that you know that uses these on the daily. Let me know what you think of the Razer Anzu and smart glasses of the sword by getting into the comment sections. Drop some likes on this video, and for more on tech like this, wearable smartphones, and beyond, make sure you subscribe to Pocket Now. With all that said, we're going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves and each other, and we will see you in our next video.